Hey my golden friends, today maybe one of the most exciting game of year has been played between Vidit and Dubov in Tata Steel 2022 and I want to talk to you about this game. The game as a Dubov starts with playing Italian and I don't discuss too much about opening except this strange move of Dubov, Knight A3. It's not familiar, at least for me, maybe it's um, played um, very often in among some grand masters, but of course not very often, but it's the odd move that you just expected from Dubov and whoever works with him, yes, like Magnus. Magnus against Anish also played a similar line, but in a different opening in Catalan structure. So, giving up the knight to gaining bishop pair here, Vidit could have played g5 for example, but um, uh, some people are, uh, it's a little bit a scary move because uh, you play against Dubov, Dubov can second knight, uh, let me show you what I'm saying. This move, you say it uh, is okay for um, uh, black, but it's Dubov, Dubov can play something like that. And of course, engine says that white is losing in this position, but... Who knows, it's Dubov and he may find a way to win. And yeah, and we did simply play queen e7 uh, to uh, enable the knight to move there at some point and keep take care of the e pawn and all such moves. And Dubov simply cancels, brings back the knight. But well, this is also. Uh, okay, engine here says that this is a mistake or uh, inaccuracy, but this is also common to play knight uh, b8 and knight d7. Maybe it is not in a good order. And Dubov tries to open the center um, because black is not castle, so let's open the center. And knight d7 was played as expected. Additionally, Dubov says that I don't allow your bishop to be released anytime soon and finally Vidit concludes that okay he cannot castle kingside most likely so let's just push the pawn to g5 Duo says okay I'm happy with this push and finally Vidit grabs this pawn grabs this pawn is it a pawn yeah let's see it's a very dangerous pawn and Vidit was very brave to take it I mean it's dangerous in a sense that it's a central pawn you didn't castle yet and you put yourself in a big danger and especially king and queen are lined in one file and rook can simply go to e1 and pin the queen to king so it's very dangerous and very risky and very nice move by Vidit to take it and Vidit didn't go back with the knight he didn't want to uh, let Dubov enjoy bringing rook e to e1 and attacking his queen directly. He wanted to have a shield there, so keeping knight there. And finally, exchange the knight with the bishop because at this time he can push that pawn to the knight and uh, somehow strengthens defense of his queen because no capturing the e pawn is more difficult than before because it is defended with f pawn. Of course, it's Dubov, he doesn't move the knight, says do whatever you want to do with my knight. I want to remove the defender of your pawn and then capture it. And this game really is amazing. I mean, you have a queen in the middle, king in the middle and continue playing with pieces only. And Dubov uh, continues pressing further and with uh, it just defends. And finally, with it brings the bishop out. Now the defender of b7 pawn is weak, but it is uh, uh, still defended by knight. Anyways, Dubov takes that pawn and Vidit ignores it. Why? Because if my Vidit, Vidit was going to take the rook, is a free rook, right? Then this check was killer. What do you do against this check? You move this uh, king here, then you lose the queen. Or what else? You go there, then you lose the bishop. And it's not just bishop, you lose the whole structure. Your queen is under attack. If you 
move it upward for example then we attack the queen again and we win the e pawn as well it's a whole lot of pawns if uh, you try to attack the knight from this direction we win the other pawn and then we are still up a lot of pawn or and the pawn structure of uh, black is really bad so for such reasons of course uh, we did, didn't capture that rook instead uh, played rook uh, f6 says that no i want to capture that you own rook anyways and two says okay you can capture it notice that uh, for for example right now you cannot play let's move right this move because simply captures that rook and is happy because this time this check doesn't do anything no, you just go there and because this uh, square is free right now and you can escape there is no uh, winning bishop or anything so uh, dubo fosen of course didn't belong there but defend the rook with the queen and say that okay please capture that rook with it said to you why not captures the rook and this position is uh, getting crazier than it is at this moment after exchanging knight with the bishop and now the queen is pinned to the king finally Dubov uh, reached his dream position and what do you do at this position do you play rook in front as you can see engine evaluation changed a lot and this is very bad and what's good uh, let me first uh, uh, let us first see why this is so bad the idea is that after uh, queen check here you should block it with a rook or of course you can also move it away but doesn't help because queen checks from the different angle and you go back and if you go back then you lose a rook right and there is no good move for you what else do you want to do bring the queen in front then you lose the rook so the rook there was forced rook there was forced and then the queen swings away and attacks the king again you cannot come in this direction because this is a mate right so you should go back and this going back again doesn't help you much because first we give a check okay once you go down no only no we take this rook so this rook is gunner but we did it very 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 nice move so we notice that this rook is gunner and you cannot play rook okay uh, engine shows the move of with it okay sorry i didn't want okay find the move of with it okay you already saw that but um, find it yes we did play rook d1 check that was amazing move by with it amazing find by with it any anyone was playing rook uh, e5 most likely just because they don't want to lose the queen they say that we lose the rook not the queen to have some counterplay but uh, we did find the best defense and again the scenario is similar to few moves ago because again we have this a uh, new escape square this time after king goes up then you can play this move because this time if we give them we receive a check we have this escape square last time we didn't have that okay uh, and then we did play the best move and okay let's go back to the game and now um, finally bring the rook in front to exchange and Dubov starts to play I, again let me show you engine's evaluation because Dubov starts to play all best moves almost best moves let's say all moves that Dubov plays are best moves so far and here is the mistake Dubov played like five six moves all of them best moves of engine and then uh, Dubov had to go for perpetual check and uh, live with that live with that that he cannot win this game right but he didn't go with that he didn't go with that instead he went for playing pawn f3 and this pawn f3 is a big big mistake what's uh, the problem with that and i don't know why dubov didn't calculate it maybe he didn't have enough time the issue is that 
all black pawns are in black square and they are not uh, white is not able to attack them with the bishop the only attacker white has is the queen to attack that pawns on the other hand black has very a strong piece rook a rook rook can grab all the pawns if um, we take queens off the board then rook grabs all those pawns but if we let the queen to stay in the game for example if we go something crazy like this then this is an immediate loss right we have no chance to survive such a game for example at least wins the bishop and soon will deliver mate so white cannot afford letting black to keep the queen in the game and play with the queen and rook and uh, on the other hand if uh, they exchange the queens white doesn't have anything to play with because bishop cannot do anything against those pawns and this is what happened in the game dubov played some moves the, you may notice that and just suggests one well, queen there but it doesn't help the king goes away and finds the shield for itself and runs away so and for example this moves and then runs out of a move and it's black to enjoy the game but instead Dubov didn't play that instead uh, Dubov played with bishop to c6 but then the game lasts for just a few four more move few more moves and then it was here that uh, Dubov understood that there is no way to uh, stop the black from uh, mating the king unless exchanging the queen if for example you go give the last check here then king again runs away what can you do you can give one more last check and then either exchanging queen or giving a check is end of a day because pawns of black are running and nobody can stop them and on the other hand black can grab all pawns of white i hope you enjoyed this attacking game Bye.